Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a recent purchases update video. I am sharing some updates on some recent purchases, as you might guess. Usually I split this video into hits, misses, and maybes. Today I don't have any maybes, I only have hits, and then I have misses, so things that I absolutely love, and then things which I'm just not super impressed by. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get started. Before we get stuck in, I wanted to let you know that 24 Sevra have gone live with their doubles day promotion, so they are offering 24% off your purchase. There is a whole landing page where you can see everything that's included, and there are some amazing, amazing items. So my Marc Jacobs tote, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, that one is included, and I know that got pulled from the Black Friday offer because I got a lot of messages about it, but it is back included in this offer and is currently in stock. There's also a ton of other items I saw Givenchy Antigona's included, Valentino's included, Chloe bags from their Mini Marcy to their Woody tote, my Anine Bing blazer as well, I know that's one that I always get asked about, and they do also have quite a few S Max Mara coats included too, just a ton of gorgeous items, so I will go ahead and link all the details that down below, as well as my blog post roundup as well. So first up is my Louis Vuitton East West bag, and oh my goodness, I have been loving this bag so, so much, I've been posting it a few times on my Instagram stories and every time I do I just get so many messages like what is that bag tell us about it um, I feel like it's pretty well known but clearly not um, so it's essentially like a mini version of the pochette Matisse it's not called that it's called the East West bag I don't know why but it is essentially a shrunk down version of the pochette Matisse I did try the pochette Matisse many years ago didn't work out for me I feel like it was just too big and bulky on me and I just didn't love kind of the overall vibes that gave my outfit. I've loved it on other people though and I have seen so many people rock it so so well. Um, so it was always one of those bags that I was like oh, I wish I could make that work for me and then they came out with this and I was like yes like that is exactly what I wanted and it just completely lived up to expectations and then some. Like I love this style so much. It's absolutely adorable for one, like it's a really, really nice little size. Functionally, it's pretty great as well though. So you have a pocket right there on the back to pop in any kind of documents. It's actually quite deep as well. So like you can fit in a decent amount inside and then it just pops open like so. And you do have that slight accordion style opening. So you can actually open up quite wide and fit a decent amount in despite there being a divider in the middle. And I'm not typically someone that enjoys a divider. I would always rather have, you you know just the wide open space but they've actually managed this very very well because of that accordion style you have a pocket right there on the back obviously the zipper compartment there and it just fits like a very very decent amount for such a mini bag and um, you have the great canvas and I am a huge fan of canvas I always have been I just think it's so versatile it's incredibly durable and it's just so carefree uh, you do have the vachetta on the top and I have been like checking on it to make sure that I haven't been staining it or anything so far so good um, but obviously that will darken over time and then you have the strap right here but you also do get a little chain as well I've literally never used the chain it's like this really kind of chunky gold chain I'll do a close-up um which for me it's just like very like not in keeping with the rest of the bag I would have much preferred something a lot more dainty and just more subtle so I have never taken that chain out and I don't think I ever will I really only use it just with the longer strap um but I love it like I think it's so so good and um, very functional very chic like so easy to throw on I have been wearing it for um, running but I've also been wearing it on like little date nights as well I actually think it's pretty versatile even though like when I look at it I would think it's more of a casual style bag I've been loving it both ways um, and I just think it's fantastic so if you are like me love the pochette Matisse but couldn't quite get along with it I would definitely recommend checking this out if you were after something similar. This has just been so good. I've really, really been enjoying it. Next up is my Marc Jacobs toe, and this has just been everything that I wanted. So I was very specifically after something that was very low maintenance that could keep up with Leo and his sticky fingers, and that wasn't kind of crazy, crazy expensive. Like I didn't want something that cost the earth, but I did want it to look quite pulled together and be like a full leather style. So still chic, but not like, you know, thousands and thousands. Had my eye on this and decided to pull the trigger during the sales, and it's just been so perfect. Like I think it's absolutely adorable and it's just the most functional bag like it is so great it is a mini style but despite that it fits a ton like it fits so so much like I don't know if you'll be able to see that but 
The capacity is just enormous. It's a full on Mary Poppins bag. I will do a quick cutaway so you can see how much can fit inside, but it's just the bag that doesn't quit. Like it's so good. I don't need to carry like a nappy bag for Leo because I can just pop what I need to in here and then still have room for all my items. And it's still a mini bag. Like it's just absolutely perfect. I think the look is just gorgeous. Like I really love this colorway. It looks a lot more kind of orangey brown online I'd say whereas actually in real life it's a really pretty kind of almost like biscuit color like very very neutral I feel like it goes with everything and like the branding is quite in your face but because it's the same color and just kind of embossed it's a lot more subtle than I was expecting as well so I have really been loving it I think it's very very cute it's very comfortable to hold as well so you do have very sturdy top handles right there but you do also have this longer chain too which is fully adjustable and I just love it like it is incredibly low maintenance like anything that I've been getting on it I've just been wiping clean and it's done really well and it just feels like a really really nice bag especially for the money like I feel like considering how it feels it feels like it would cost a lot more than it did. It obviously helps that I got it on sale as well. Um, but I just absolutely adore this. I think it is so, so cute. Leather's very soft too. And it's just like an absolute winner for me. Like in terms of mum bags, like I just think this is so good. It ticks so many boxes. I've just really, really been enjoying this. And I can't remember the last time I've really enjoyed like a bag in this price range as much as I have this. Like it's so nice and yeah, I would just highly recommend. If you are also after something similar within this price bracket, I genuinely think this is such a strong contender. I've just been so, so happy with it. Next up is my Chanel O case. And in terms of items which have exceeded expectations in terms of how valuable and useful I find them, this has got to be the winner for this year. And, you know, I am very much guilty of sometimes buying SLGs and pouches and this sort of thing because I really like the look and I think they're very cute versus like me thinking that they're an absolutely essential item. Um, but this has been so useful. I have used an absolute ton. I just think it's kind of great. And I would say that we have traveled a lot this year. So we've gone on a lot of trips with Leo, with our mums. Um, and so I have used it a lot for travel. But for me, this is like the perfect, perfect travel bag. So I did use this every single time we traveled as well. Like every trip we went on, I took this because I found it very easy to pack. I always travel with a tote bag, usually my Chloe Woody tote. And then I will go ahead and I will put all our documents in here. So passports, boarding passes, cash, all that kind of thing will go in here. I'll pop it inside my tote. It's small enough to do so and it's very flat as well. So it travels very, very well. But once I'm at the destination, it's my go-to clutch and it's perfect because it is the grain leather. So it's very, very durable. You know, I can just wipe it clean. Very fuss free. It is white. So it goes with every single outfit. And it's just perfect for that reason. Like I absolutely adore it. And I feel like O-Cases, you know, they're not the cheapest, but in terms of crazy Chanel world, like they're also not like, you know, 5,000 pounds, like a lot of Chanel styles now. Um, and I just think it's really, really wonderful. So this probably won't be like good for everyone, but if you were looking for like a multi-purpose piece and you do travel a lot, this has just been such a lie. I've been so happy with it and I feel like I more than got my money's worth. It's just been the most useful thing this year. And now for my Lady Dior and Oh, I have been really, really enjoying this bag. And I feel like more and more I have been kind of parting ways with styles, which I may like them, but like there are little individual things which they don't quite work for me. And then often getting a very similar style from the same brand, just correcting like one or two things and then it just completely transforming the whole experience for me. And I feel like this is like the perfect example of that. The Louis Vuitton East West is another example, but it's just so much better for me in the bigger size and the grain leather. Like it's just a whole nother bag. I did have the mini Lady Dior in the lambskin before, which was so beautiful, like such a gorgeous style, but so delicate, so tiny, very, very difficult to access as well because it was so small and just generally one of those bags which was better to look at than to actually use. Whereas I feel like this is just as beautiful, you know, it's absolutely gorgeous to look at, but it's actually functional as well, which is very, very nice, especially when you're paying this kind of money. Um, my big thing was the opening, and this does have that same um, flap right there at the top, which definitely does hinder you getting in and out. But because the space is so much bigger, you just have so much more room to maneuver. I also weirdly feel that even though it's a grain leather, 
the leather is actually softer on this flat bit than the lambskin one was, which is not usually how it goes. Usually lambskin is a lot softer, um, but this is so much more malleable, so it's easier to kind of fold back when you need to. And it's just generally a much easier bag to access and much more fun to use as a result of that. You also just don't have to worry about it at all. Like the lambskin one that I had was very, very delicate indeed. This is that really nice grain leather. Like it is more of a matte though. So if you're comparing it to Chanel's grain leather, Chanel usually has more of like a sheen to it. This is very, very matte. So I wouldn't say it's the same kind of finish at all, but I actually really like it. And especially with the shiny hardware, I actually feel like it's a really beautiful combination. You do have all those great little details, like the little feet there as well, does come with a strap. And in general, I just think this is so great. I did see that they just released it in the biscuit color as well, which is gorgeous, like so, so nice. I've been really happy with my white one though. Um, it does fit a lot more than the mini size two. I just think it's so elegant and beautiful and I've just been really, really happy about it, which I'm so pleased about because this is major, major money. Like usually I only reserve that kind of money for Chanel purchases. Um, I've not typically been like the biggest Dior girl in the past. So this was a really, really big purchase. Um, but yeah, I've just been absolutely delighted with it. I am so, so happy with this gorgeous bag. Next up is my mini Loewe. And to be honest, I don't really know what to call this bag because I was calling it the mini puzzle, but then so many of you corrected me saying it's not the puzzle bag, this is the redesign one, but I don't know what to call it now. So if you do know, let me know, but I'm just gonna say my mini Loewe. It is absolutely adorable though, and it's definitely very, very small. Like this is not a large part, like you can see how tiny it is, but my number one concern was access and how annoying I would find the opening. But actually, it's absolutely fine. Um, I have the iPhone 13 Pro, I think, um, and it fits just fine. I can fit in my wallet, my keys, lipstick, you know, all my little essentials, and it's absolutely fine. It's not too bothersome to get in and out of, which was my biggest concern. I would definitely say that they could have extended the zip a little bit and made it a lot more functional, but I can make do with it as it is. It doesn't bother me at all. You do have a little top handle, which again, I feel like they could have extended just a little bit to make it a bit more functional than it is. But to be honest, I really just wear it crossbody and it's done just great. You do have a nice adjustable strap as well. You have that really nice silver hardware. And typically I'm not a silver hardware girl. I would almost always prefer gold hardware. I just really feel like it works on this bag. It's not an overly stark white either. I'd say it's a really nice kind of off chalk white really really lovely and um, the grain leather is fantastic very durable i did get some sauce on it the other day um and it just wiped clean so i not sprayed it or anything like that um so so far very low maintenance and easy to use i'm just like loving the overall vibes i feel like i'm so late to the loewe party but i'm really getting into the brand now um, and i just feel like this is such a breath of fresh air so much more subtle than so many of my other bags um but yeah i've just been really really enjoying it i am absolutely eyeing up one of their biggest styles now but yeah i've been really really happy with this i just think it's gorgeous and now for my misses, I'm going straight for my misses as I mentioned, so no maybe today. Um, and first up I have my Louis Vuitton Speedy B in the Armprant, and it pains me to include this bag in this category because I actually really like it and I still do use it a lot. Um, but I feel like it's just worn horribly. And I have had this experience with the Armprant line before. I was a long time fan of the Armprant line with the SLGs. Like so many of my SLGs have been in the Armprant leather. And I just think it's so fantastic because it's so durable. It's so easy to maintain, but it also feels incredibly luxurious. Like I absolutely love it. And for me, they are like the Rolls Royce of SLGs. For me, they're better than Chanel. Like I just love Armprant leather in the Louis Vuitton on SLG line. So I kind of then decided to try out some on prompt bags. I bought the Neverfull in the on prompt leather as well and I had a very similar issue but I just kind of thought because the Neverfull is so large that that was the reason behind you know the little collapsing of the leather and the wearing of the corners like all those little things I was like it's a large bag these things are going to happen. Um, but the same thing is happening with this bag and I feel like it's a much smaller bag. It's not tiny by any means. Um, but this experience has really put me off going for any on point leather styles in terms of their bags from them in the future. I still love the SLGs, um, but 
yeah I've just not been overly impressed so I do feel like it's really kind of it's collapsing in here right there in the middle and um, same right there in the corner in fact I see that on all the corners as well on the other side you also see that kind of denting in there as well I have a tiny bit of wear beginning to show on the corners and you know I've used this bag but I do feel like I've been fairly careful with it I definitely wouldn't say this is like you know a knock around bag for me at all I've also been extremely diligent and I've constantly worn it with a bag liner so I don't think I've ever taken this bag out without a bag liner and even with that and even with the help of the added structure it's still collapsing in in the middle which I just don't really feel like a bag that's this expensive should do that yeah like for me I do really enjoy the style I think it's very functional I like a lot of things about it but I just can't really get past the wear and tear and how I just think for this level of bag this kind of money I just think it should do a lot better than this next up is my Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse and this is actually very very new to me but I've used it constantly since I got it and I can already tell like I don't really love this that much and I was trying to figure out why I haven't been super excited about it because I do think it's beautiful um, and it's the layout and this is not something I realized until I was actually using it and really kind of thinking through why it was annoying me so much but it's essentially kind of a hybrid between my two smaller favorite SLGs but not in a good way like usually if I have an in-between style I'm like oh yes that's the best of both worlds but actually I feel like this is kind of the worst of both worlds at least for me in my personal kind of use case um, I love my Louis Vuitton Emprunt compact wallet so good in terms of making the best use of the available space I don't think you can do any better than this like it's so good you have all the card slots you have a nice section for your notes little coin purse like it is all the functionality of a longer larger wallet but in a very compact form and I just don't think you can do better than this in terms of compact wallets similarly when I want to be super minimal I'm switching into a very tiny bag and I just want something to house a little bit of cash and some cards this is great because it's just a wide open space you know I can see everything very clearly you have one little slot there at the front and that's it you know there aren't any bells and whistles they haven't tried to over engineer this but in terms of what I need it's just perfect because it is so slim line it fits in everything and it just kind of houses everything in a really neat way this one is only a little bit smaller than the compact wallet but it is a lot less functional it is bigger than my coin purse but I actually find it less functional and what I realized I don't really like anymore in coin purses is this little zipper compartment here because when I'm switching into this kind of wallet I typically don't have any coins with me and I don't store coins generally I have coins in my longer wallet but when I'm paying for cash it's usually a tip or something like that I don't carry coins I will just carry a few notes with me and I'll also have my cards I just don't need that little zipper compartment at the front and it wastes very very valuable real estate again not something I realized until I tried this and I was looking at it going that is completely redundant and it actually does take up quite a bit of room and then you do have this compartment with these little card slots but they're not that easy to access and there isn't really a lot of room to do so once you do pop your cards inside and in general, I think I just always prefer to use this or if I do need a little bit more organization, I will go for my full on Louis Vuitton compact wallet. So for some people, this might be the best of both worlds. Um, but for me, as I said, it's kind of the worst. Um, and it's really crystallized to me what exactly I don't want in a small SLG. So whilst I think it's adorable, this hasn't really ticked the box for me. And um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna be sticking with my two other favorites the time being. So that wraps up today's recent purchases update video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my takes in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.